rivers, across deserts, and over mountains to reach every tribe and tongue. People living in extreme conditions and doing extraordinary things. Reaching the lost and touching the suffering all over the world. God touches the lives of people everywhere as missionaries explore new ways of reaching the lost around the world. Hi, Bethel Church family. We are John and Joyce Hisk, missionaries to Almira, Netherlands. We pastor New Day International Church, and in the past four-year term, we've ministered to people from over 47 nations. Thanks for the way your missions dollars are supporting all your missionaries serving amid the COVID-19 crisis. We are on day six of a self-quarantine, having just arrived from the Netherlands to prepare for itinerating after four years there. We hope to see you in person in July, the Lord willing. Allow us to tell you what ministry during COVID-19 means now for our international church. On Monday, March 16th, we received word that the facility we rent for worship on Sundays would be closed per government restrictions. We decided based on those same regulations to close our midweek Bible study. We've been holding that in our home since our ministry center had been severely damaged on February 4th by an intentional fire set by vandals. On Wednesday, March 18, we made a hurried trip to the local big box store and bought two big containers of toilet paper and other supplies. We then made goodie bags for our church family and delivered them personally to about 30 homes scattered across Almira in the greater Amsterdam area. While we didn't physically touch any of our members, there was some really meaningful connection as we made our deliveries, and we had spontaneous times of fellowship through prayer and conversation, but all within the required five feet apart. We also began to prepare remote ministry for our church family. While we couldn't meet physically, we knew it was vital to the spiritual and mental health of our attendees to keep providing a means of growth and encouragement, especially in times when we could feel isolated from one another. With a focus on worship and the Word, many from the NDIC family have remarked about the anointing on these services. And we thank God for connecting us by His Spirit in these troubled times. On March 24th, we went to the hospital to minister to a couple in our church experiencing the premature delivery of their third daughter. We were greeted by folks in hazmat gear and we underwent a questionnaire and had our temperature taken. A special call of permission was also required. Not long after we entered the delivery room, we, along with Destiny Afon's parents, experienced heartbreaking news. The medical team informed us since Destiny was only 22 weeks, six days, she would receive no life-saving measures. No amount of pleading changed their stance. They explained that only at 24 weeks are they permitted by Dutch law to save a baby's life. We wept together, read scripture, and prayed for God's help. Then we were required to leave. On April 1st, we led Destiny's funeral. What a strange and sad experience to refrain from embracing in such a mournful time and for the guests to have to spread themselves out on the path near the butterfly garden where Destiny's tiny casket was laid. There are many tragedies in this world that we will never understand. Without Jesus and the blessed hope of the resurrection, our lives and times would be meaningless. We rejoice that destiny was delivered from the womb directly to the arms of Jesus. For our Savior is alive. 
He is preparing a place for us. And that is the news we are busy bringing to the Netherlands. Thank you for standing with us through your faithful prayers and ministry gifts.